To begin the disassembly of your iPhone 3G, you will first need to remove the two screws on the bottom of the housing back cover. Please note we actually used an iPhone 3GS during this video, but the process for removal of the touchscreen and LCD is actually the exact same for these two phones. Next, using a suction cup, you will want to place the suction cup on the screen. If your screen is cracked, you might want to use a piece of tape to cover the cracks or the glass so that you get a good suction on the screen and pull up away from the screen. Be careful not to pull too hard as there are three cables still attached to the actual board that will need to be removed. Using a safe open pry tool, you will remove these cables starting with the LCD flex cable which is cable number one, then the digitizer flex cable number two, and cable number three is held in with a jawbone connector which will need to be flipped up, and then you can pull the cable out. With your touchscreen LCD assembly separated, you will now need to remove six screws on the metal back plate one on the top and three on the sides, two are on one side and three are on the other side. Next, using a spudger or pry tool, place it between the two grommets of your LCD backplate and midframe to separate the LCD. If your LCD is not damaged, be very careful during this process not to actually damage your LCD, as it can crack very easily. This LCD was already damaged, so we will have a repair video showing that disassembly as well. To separate your touchscreen glass digitizer from the midframe, you will need to heat up the sides, loosening the adhesive holding your touchscreen glass to the midframe. If you have already bought the midframe assembly with the home button and touchscreen already preassembled, please ignore this step. Next, using a spudger or pry tool, you will want to go ahead around the sides of your touchscreen, removing the actual glass from the midframe. If it does not come off very easily, go ahead and use your heat gun to heat up the adhesive a little bit more to make the removal a little bit easier. Be very careful with the broken glass shards as they can easily cut you. Once you are able to go ahead and remove the screen, there might be glass shards still attached. You will want to go ahead and clean up all of the glass shards as well as remove the adhesive still attached to the midframe as you will be applying new adhesive. Finally, this is the midframe with all the adhesive and glass removed. For the reassembly guide, please view our other videos. <laughs> Thank you.